how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my first ever unboxing video. <laughs> All right, okay, so I apologize for the rough setup of my set um, in a slightly different location today, mostly because I am filming this after work and there's only so much energy I have left and um, my girls are also out playing at the moment. <laughs> so please excuse me if I suddenly have to jump off camera to save one of them. <laughs> As some of you might know, I finally got Hyena Boy published on Lulu last week, both in ebook format and in paperback. Yay! Um, and on the 15th, I ordered my proof copy, uh, which is something you need to do in order for it to be released onto other platforms such as Amazon. It's so now the 24th, and it is arrived. So, the thing to make you aware of with anything that you order through Lulu or any books that have been published through Lulu, Lulu is that they are print on demand, which means the books basically get printed when they're ordered, which in some ways is great because uh, uh, us as uh, independent publishers, it very much cuts down on the amount of um, upfront costs that we might have to incur, um, which makes it sort of very affordable um, for independent authors such as myself to get things out onto the market um, and self-publish and, and whatever else. Um, but it also does mean that, you know, it, it does take a few days for the book to be printed and pressed and, and made up and stuff like that. But I went with the absolute cheapest mailing option and after they sent it out, it only took, like, they sent it out Wednesday, I think. So it took them about seven days to make it. Sent it out Wednesday, was here when I got home from work on the Friday. So it actually does arrive relatively quickly. <laughs> um, and their work is always, always good quality. I mean, this is um, a copy of Echo. This is a copy of Echo that I'm actually using for my Ida Reads, um, hence the, the bookmark in it. And, you know, as you can see from that, it's, you know, it's nice quality. It, it is a book. It, you know, it is what you expect it to be. <laughs> All right. So without any further ado, I think it's time we, we open it and find out if Hyena Boy is up to snuff. <laughs> So, as you can see, this is the, the front cover. I know you want to see it too. Come on. This, this, by the way, is my little Mew. She is a mischief bum and she, she likes to get herself involved in everything. But it is her playtime, so she's expecting to be out. <laughs> there we go. All right, so as you can see, the front cover has a nice, nice little shine, brand new shine to it, nice finish to it. Um, the spine, I don't know if I can zoom it in properly. Um, I did get help with, with the cover for this. I, I, I have an awesome friend who has helped me out so much um, in, in, in getting, you know, everything looking like really good and really, really tight in and absolutely amazing but as you can see the the spine has a little hyena emblem there as well which which is awesome um and as you can see the the back cover has the the blurb in you know the the way we sort of laid it out and set it out and then we've got the barcode down there and everything else so yeah cover wise it's looking it's looking really good and it's really it's really nice to actually sort of see it in person as well because I'm, I'm one of those people because we've been working sort of sending things back, back and forth um via via internet and, and stuff like that so i've only actually really seen this cover online <laughs> on, on my computer screen on my laptop screen and um i'm one of those people i have the 
um, brightness of my computer screen down quite low because I do suffer from chronic headaches and I mean, in order to be able to use my laptop laptop for any length of time, I need the brightness to be quite, quite down. So I've been having to like turn up the brightness to sort of try and view the picture and, and stuff like that. So for me, it's much easier seeing something that's actually in front of me than seeing something that's on my laptop screen, which is kind of weird considering I do spend so much time, you know, staring at my laptop screen. Um, so yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with, with how that actually looks to be honest so it's, it's quite nice <laughs> so as for the inside you've got uh the the title page which again um i i asked my friend what font he used and i mimicked it <laughs> mimicked it on the inside um so that's pretty cool so as you see i've got Inside, you've got the, the copyright down in the corner there, and then my little vacation at the top. And I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see any of that, but it, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. And that, you know, for me, I've, I've seen, so I, I know from my previous things that I've done through Lulu, kind of what to expect with that a little bit. Um, so as for the book itself, so you can see... Um, num all the pages are numbered down in the corner there, just like, you know, a proper book, because it is a proper book. So yeah, no, it, it is important when you get your proof copy. So if, you, if you're thinking about publishing through Lulu, and they are a good company to publish through if you are looking to self-publish anything, um, you need to sort of go through and check through and make sure there are not any blank pages there by accident or mistake or whatever. Um, and this is something that I did experience when um, I brought Echo out in paperback form. Because originally it had just been um, ebook, and the way it formats the ebook is it does take out anything like that. So you don't realise it's there. Um, but I just literally, apart from like adding page numbers and stuff, which you don't do with the, the ebook version, um, didn't realise that somewhere through the, the formatting and editing process, a couple of blank pages had slipped in. <laughs> so when I got the uh, first version of the Echo paperback, I was a little shocked, <laughs> to say the least. Um, fortunately, nobody bought that version apart from me. So, you know, if, if I make it really famous in the future and people are looking for like very unique one-offs, I can, I can see that getting a lot of money. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. Some, somewhere, someone who wants to collect my work will be like, yeah! <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just flicking through the pages now, just making sure, as I said, there, are, there aren't any blank ones. There shouldn't be, because, oh my god, the number of times I went through this book, if there are any blank pages, <laughs> I would be very, very, very surprised. Um, but it's still an important thing to do. Because that's part of the part of the reason why they make you buy a proof copy is so that there are no really glaring, obvious mistakes when it actually does print, and that you are happy with like the font choices, and you're happy with like the chapter title choices, and everything it is how you would want it to be and how you would want it to look. So yeah, it it is very important that you do you know at least flick through the book. To make sure everything is looking the way it should and um, likewise if you're, you're one of these people who don't spend ages and ages and ages in the editing process and even like have the voice reader on your word document <laughs> reading it through for you so that you you know making sure that you've got the right words and, and everything and that you're like really seriously nitpicking, nitpicking um, it's also a really good, good opportunity for you to sort of read through it and make sure that everything is you know correct and, and everything else because sometimes it's easier to catch mistakes once it's printed than it is um on a computer screen because like i said some of us aren't very good at actually looking at computer screens <laughs> so this is all looking really good from what i can see so far there is definitely nothing obvious that you know i'd want to pick up on and go no no that absolutely 100 percent has to change um so almost through it now. 
So at the at the back of the book, and I, I, I'm going to try and obscure the end of the book for you guys, you get this nice little extra page, um, which they slot in just so that, you know, you're not sort of finishing the book and then that's the back cover. It's sort of like, you know, it's like a proper book. <laughs> it really is. Um, so, yeah, from, from what I can see, from... from knowing that I've spent so, 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 so much time editing this and I've gone through it so many times and seriously, if there were any mistakes left in there at all, well, obviously there's probably going to be one or two very small mistakes, like maybe an apostrophe missing here or there, but, you know, apart from that, there should not be any mistakes left in this book. <laughs> I, have, I have made fairly sure of that. Um, so, you know, if I'm wrong, yeah, <laughs> but you know, the cover looks the cover looks amazing. I'm really happy with how the cover looks. I, I really am, and especially especially this back cover. I mean, I know you guys probably can't read that very well, but you know, just just the way it looks and and the way it feels, it's just it's my book. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I'm not sure how well I've managed to do my first ever unboxing video. <laughs> I know there have been a few little interruptions which will probably get edited out. Um, you may or may not have seen one of my juggles in this video. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be about this, but never mind. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, as I said, if you are thinking about self-publishing, um, Lulu is a fantastic company to work with. They make things nice and easy, they've got a good support team, they, you know, if you've got a bit of money to spend, they've got great options to help you promote your work or to, you know, get an independent editor to look at your work or, you know, various different things like that. Um, I've always, always been happy with everything that I've done with Lulu. Yes, you know, it, it does require a little bit more work on my part to sort of try to get things out there and, and, and better known. But in terms of you know, the quality of product that they produce and in terms of, you know, how easy they are to use and, and everything like that, I can't fault them. And this, this book, this book that has been so many years in the making, it you know to to actually have it in my hands and to actually be able to you know go I I've done this and this is exactly how I want it um yeah yeah <laughs> all right um so my gorgeous little gerbil girls are being very very mischievous right now and require my attention um as such I'm going to bring this this unboxing to a close. Um, I hope this has been interesting for you guys. Um, maybe sometime in the near future, when I release my next book, we'll do another one of these unboxing videos. This, this has been kind of fun and, and kind of great. And, and as I said, you know, if you are looking uh, for, for a self-publishing company to work with and you don't have a lot of backing behind you, Lulu is absolutely amazing. You can do so much with no cost at all. Um, you know, apart from you do have to pay for your own proof copy, but even then it's at a discounted price. So, you know, you're, you're paying much less because they're basically taking off your royalty percentage. And, oh, and by the way, if you are looking to support an indie author who has published through Lulu, buying through Lulu gives them royalties. I completely understand people using Amazon and whatever else instead because it's so much easier. It's you know, one less site that you've got your details registered to, and you know, I, I completely respect that. But in terms of royalty payments, we get more through Lulu directly than we do through through other sites because obviously you've got to take off commission and stuff for them hosting and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you're really seriously looking to support an indie author who's published through Lulu, buy through Lulu. Um, if not, you know, just buying a copy of their book should put support for them, you know, however you buy it does support them anyway. So yeah, think think about supporting the authors because we, we struggle. <laughs> we we struggle to get noticed. Um and you know there are some 
great, amazing books out there. And I'm, I know I want to conclude my own amongst that. Um, but there are that don't get the, the recognition that they deserve because they've been published independently. Um, so, yeah, support indie authors. Um, this has been my first ever unboxing video. I may do another one when my next book gets released. Uh, but until then, I will see you doing what I usually do. <laughs> see ya. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!